Hey everybody, welcome back to Raft Reviews. We're here today at Los Tito's Mexican Food. Be kind, love one another, call your mother. Alrighty, so we're here in Barrio Logan trying out the California burrito from Los Tito's. Adrian, you got those specs? Yep, I got you. This burrito has carne asada, fries, cheese, sour cream, and guac. It is almost seven inches long. It is around 470 grams, and it comes out to a price of $9.64. Alrighty, let's dive in. I can't tell if the carne asada is like cut very thinly or if it's just that tender where I just super easy to bite into. I think it's both, but I think it tastes pretty good. Mm. Okay, something I'm noticing is this is one of the more like drier burritos, I think. Definitely more savory too. There's like barely any grease I'm finding, but I think the amount of sauce kind of like balances that out. I'm not even tasting really any sauce to be honest. Like is there supposed to be like sour cream in this, yeah, right? Yeah, there's like, like barely any plate? sauce, but I'm kind of liking it. It's definitely like, it feels like a more modest burrito. Definitely a safe burrito. I'm actually really liking the french fries on this one. Nice and crispy. They're pretty thin. Um, but yeah, they're pretty crispy. I think the difference for me as to what makes it a little bit more dry than usual is the way that the cheese is melted is like, it's not like super gooey or anything. It's more like crusted on, which yeah. I normally am like not a huge fan, but for some reason it adds like the textures in the burrito. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Taste is pretty good so far, but really holding it back with these sauces, man. I don't know. The early looks... game was a little weak, you know, but as you approach the, the halftime of the burrito, definitely made a comeback for me as far as sauces go. Yeah, there's definitely like a lot of sauces towards the middle of the burrito for me as well. But I'm kind of liking the level. Cause it, even though it is like pretty low, I think it's kind of just enough to keep it from not being too dry, but without overpowering, overpowering the flavor. And like the yeah, being too saucy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, honestly, the further I get into this burrito, the more I'm really liking this carne asada. It has a pretty good sear on it. It's got that nice bristle. Yeah. I think one thing they played it pretty safe on was the tortilla. I think they could have made it a bit crispier. And I'm usually a big fan of soft tortillas, but I just think that it felt a little flat with the rest of the burrito. The tortillas definitely a bit like doughy. Yeah. More so in like texture than the in taste. taste. I think yeah. the taste is just kind of I'm not really like tasting it. It's probably yeah. there too much. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I personally am not like not really a huge fan of the meat actually. I'm not sure why. I think it's just, maybe it's the way it's seasoned, or maybe it's just the quality of the meat. I think the meat for me is like, at best, kind of forgettable. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, got, I gotta say, I disagree. I, I thought it was pretty good, but. I think it's really hard to do that, to cook it that well, where you can get that nice sear on it, while also like have it fall apart in your mouth as you're running into it. All right, boys, let's do some scores. For you. For it. For this burrito. Even though it's modest in its uh, approach and simple in its execution, I would say I am pleasantly surprised. I think that it, of course, it has some things it can work on, like the tortilla, and it can be a little bit more consistent across the board, but ultimately the flavor it left me with, with the meat and how tender it was, with the textures it played around with the cheese, I'm not used to that, but it was a pleasant surprise. Um, I'm gonna give it a 8.5. Alrighty. So, we're doing a 8.3 on this one. Um, this was a pretty solid burrito, honestly. Uh, I really liked the carne asada and the fries especially. They tasted really good. Everything else was, I would say, stay up to par. I wish they just threw on a little bit more sour cream and guacamole for my liking. But uh, yeah, other than that, burrito was a little bit small. It was more like a snack for me, but um, yeah, the burrito was pretty good. I'm gonna go with the 6.9 on this one. Uh, very different experience from these guys. The thing is, at, at first I was really liking the burrito a lot because I think I think they do do a, a good amount of it right. They do the fries right. The, the fries are pretty good. The cheese is pretty good. And the sauces, I think, are pretty good. The thing is, I just didn't think the meat was very good. And I mean, like, if you don't have good meat, like, that's like the heart of the burrito. Um, I feel like a lot of other burritos have the potential to get better with like slight changes maybe. But this one, I just, I think, I think they do a lot of it right. They just kind of don't have much else to do with it. I guess the only thing they could do is really like 
completely change the meat, but that that's probably pretty unlikely. So. Alrighty, so that's gonna be a wrap score of 7.9. As always, check us out on rapreviews.com. It's got everything that you need. Leave a comment and let us know what we should try next. That's a wrap.